Two teens behind bars in the murder of Dr. Kevin Rogers both went to court today. The family of the 18-year-old suspect attended his hearing this morning, and the 15-year-old suspect went before a juvenile court judge this afternoon. Our Crime Beat reporter Steve Jefferson attended both of those hearings. Steve joins us tonight to explain the evidence and break down the charges they now face. Steve? The 15-year-old is here at juvenile detention. He'll learn later this week exactly what charges he'll face. His 18-year-old co-defendant has been hit with multiple counts of theft, burglary, and murder. Marion County deputies escorted 18-year-old Karan Bickham Hurst to court for his initial hearing. He and a 15-year-old boy faced charges in the November 20th murder of Dr. Kevin Rogers. His wife found him shot dead here in their northwest Indianapolis home. Prosecutors wanted solid evidence on who did it before filing charges. There is some DNA evidence that we intend to uh, introduce at trial that we believe will con connect individuals to this crime. Investigators say DNA found on Rogers' back door handle here at his house matches the suspects. Detectives also recovered Rogers' Cathedral High School championship rings like this one from the trunk of the teenager's car. And in another car, prosecutors say a semi-automatic handgun like this one. Prosecutors say ballistics show it's the same gun used to kill Rogers based on shell casings recovered in his house by crime lab workers. We were able to uh, recover a, f a firearm during the course of this investigation, and we were able to link that firearm to the casings that were found at the scene. Court documents show prosecutors building a case about teens hawking items at this pawn shop taken during burglaries that eventually led to the shooting death of one of their victims. The 18 and 15 year olds may be the only two teens facing charges in Rogers' murder and burglary right now. But coming up at 6, we'll tell you who else is in trouble connected to a string of burglaries. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.